Facing Waves is brought to you in part by Vic SUP, world leader in stand-up paddleboards. Welcome back to Facing Waves. This week, we're paddling North Carolina's Crystal Coast with Bic stand-up paddling team rider, Matt Height. Although Matt enjoys any type of stand-up paddling, he's always considered the surf to be his home. And so he couldn't have been more excited to be staying in a Rhythm and Sol vacation rental home right beside the Bogue Pier, one of the better known surf spots in the area. So we've been staying at a three-story house um, that looks right out onto the pier. The first day I got there, I was like, man, there looks like some good little waves that's coming in here. Even though it's small, east coast, summer swell, um, it's peeling pretty well and there's not a whole lot of people out. I was like, you know what, I want to get out there and uh, ride that wave and see what it's like. I was stoked because every day that we were here it did have a little bit of surf. It wasn't epic and it wasn't insane, but it was ideal for having fun and learning. Um, and the fact that also, too, I was expecting it to be a little bit colder. I didn't have to wear a wetsuit, um, and the waves were perfect size to play around in. Um, so anybody coming here would be, it'd be a lot of fun because um, they wouldn't need to bring a whole lot of gear, and they could get on the water and play around and learn to surf if they wanted to. I grew up surfing at a young age. I just always wanted to be in the water instead of sitting on the beach, maybe building sand castles or just soaking up sun. And when paddleboarding came around, I was like, you know what, I'm going to pick this up and give it a shot because there's not always waves and I wanted something else to do in the water that was active. Um, and so from there, it, it just became more of a passion for me, um, going into the surf element even more. Um, and I found it a lot of fun because it it was a challenge at first, um, and it also kind of opened some new avenues for different ways um, that I look at a wave and different ways that um, I kind of experience how a wave moves me in the water. East Coast isn't always consistent with waves, and so you just have to find something else to do with your time and spinning it out outside. Fishing's in a great way, I think, just to even if you're not catching fish, it's just good to get out and be on the water. We paddled it back into this area, they call it Carrot Island, and as soon as we turned the corner, you know, there was all these wild horses. Where the tide was coming in, um, it was starting to flood the marsh grass, um, and actually where the grass was, the horses were hanging out as well. Um, and it, that was crazy because I looked to my left and there were these two horses right on the edge of this water and they're just eating this marsh grass. Um, I don't know what kind of grass it was, but it was, it was so cool because they were right there. And then I looked to my right, and about 50 yards away, there was about 25 of them. All same thing. Some of them are running around chasing each other. Um, the other ones were just sitting there eating the grass, um, doing their thing. I like sup fishing or paddleboard fishing for the aspect that I'm always standing up for the most part. And then if I do get tired, I can just sit down. Um, and so it's just another element that I like to do um, that just offsets surfing when there aren't any waves. I mean, paddleboarding, whether it be surfing, paddle surfing, paddleboarding, um, I think fishing is just another part of who I am and what I enjoy to do. And some people might enjoy the fishing more, some people might enjoy the paddleboarding more, some people might enjoy the surfing more. But I think it all kind of crosses over because we're spending out time on the water having fun, experiencing what, what there is to offer. So let's take a look at some of the gear that Casey and I used on this trip to the Crystal Coast. First thing I needed was a board. So we used a few different boards on this trip, um, but the board that I used the most was BIC SUP's 11-foot Adventure Cross. It's a great board because it's very stable. Um, it has a displacement nose, so it allows it to track and go straight. And then it also has lots of tie downs, so you can rig up your fishing gear however you like and attach them to the deck of the board. You're also gonna need a paddle. And in this case, I use BIC SUP's all carbon adjustable paddle. The fact that it's all carbon makes it very light and easy to use. Um, it's also adjustable, so I can adjust it for different types of paddlers, but in my case, I adjusted it for different types of situations that I was paddling. So it's also a good idea to have a leash. 
and in this case I use BIC SUP's 11-foot coil leash. Coil leashes are great for flat water because they stay contained and they don't create drag like a straight leash would. There's lots of gear out there, but this is the gear that I use and I would recommend for your next trip.